In this exercise, you are going to practice a conversation about using a cell phone by using imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions in context. The conversation situation is someone is giving advice on how to use a cell phone. And here are the questions that you should answer while you're listening to the conversation. 1. Who owns the phone? 2. Who are they calling? 3. What's the first thing to do? 4. What should the woman press? Are you ready? Okay. Listen up. Page 47. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I borrow your phone? Part A. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Well, who owns the cell phone? Good, the man. Who are they calling? Okay, the woman's boss. What's the first thing to do? Right. Turn the phone on. And what should the woman press? Yeah, the call button. Good job. Now let's listen again to the conversation. Please pay attention on the expression and pronunciation in each line. Page 47. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I borrow your phone? Part A. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Now practice the conversation. Good. We still have Part B. In Part B, you will listen to the rest of the conversation. And please find out who Jenny wants to call next. Page 47. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Who does Jenny want to call next? That was fun. Let's call somebody else. Is there anyone you need to call? Well, not really, but I'd like to see if there are any messages on my answering machine at home. Can you show me how to check? I don't think I have that many minutes left. Well, 
Who does Jenny want to call next? Yeah, Jenny wants to call her own answering machine.